Thank you, Andy, and good afternoon, everyone. The CARES Act provides for deferral of the deposit and payment of the employer's portion of Social Security taxes that would otherwise be required to be made during the payroll tax deferral period. This deferral period begins on March 27th and ends December 31st, 2020. There is an exception which says that this payroll tax deferral does not apply to any taxpayer if the taxpayer has had a loan forgiven under Section 1106 of the Act with respect to the Small Business Act, otherwise known as a PPP loan. In, other, in order to have the PPP loan forgiven, an employer must maintain a certain number of full-time equivalent employees over an eight-week period. What this means is that employers may not know for several months whether they have met the qualifications to have their PPP loans forgiven, and if so, whether the lender has made a decision to forgive the loan. The question that we've been asking was, what happens in the interim? Can the employers take advantage of this deferral of payroll tax up until the point when the loan is forgiven, or would doing so expose them to potential penalties? The IRS just published FAQs, which specifically allow for all employers to defer the deposit and payment of the employer's share of social security tax. Employers who have received a PPP loan, but whose loan has not yet been forgiven, may defer deposit and payment of the employer's share of social security tax beginning on March 27, 2020, through the date the lender issues a decision to forgive the loan in accordance with the CARES Act without incurring penalties. The deferred deposits and payments of the employer's share of these payroll taxes must then be paid on the applicable dates of, the de of December 31st, 2021, 50% of the deferred amount, and December 31st, 2022, the remaining amount, in order to avoid failure to deposit or failure to pay penalties. Form 941, the employer's quarterly payroll tax return, will be revised for the second quarter of 2020, and the FAQs mention that information will soon be provided instructing employers how to reflect the deferred deposits and payments otherwise due on or after March 27th for the first quarter of 2020. This ability to defer deposits of the employer's share of Social Security is in addition to the relief provided in Notice 2020-22 for deposit of employment taxes in anticipation of the Families First Coronavirus Relief Act paid leave credits and the CARES Act employee retention credit. This means that an employer may defer deposit and payment of the employer's share of Social Security tax prior to determining whether they are entitled to the paid leave credit or the employee retention credits. As a reminder, self-employed individuals are also eligible to defer payment of 50% of the 12.4% tax on net earnings from self-employment income during the period beginning March 27th and ending December 31st, 2020. 